impacts, but a significant knock on the head or whiplash motion can cause your brain to hit back and forth on the walls of the skull. The impact of the brain sloshing around can strain and damage fragile brain tissue and, in more serious cases, cause bruising and bleeding, referred to as contusions and hematomas. Of course, this damage may not always be apparent since it's not outwardly visible, and many people who experience concussions never lose consciousness or exhibit any other obvious signs of brain injury. But studies have shown that people who have already experienced one concussion are more at risk to receive a second or third concussion. Over time, these injuries can cause serious cognitive and emotional disability, and in some cases, death. So if you're ever feeling a little dizzy or out of sorts after an accident, make sure to take the time to recover and see a doctor right away. With repeated impacts to the head, the brain inside the skull ricochets back and forth. It goes forward, it accelerates and decelerates, but it also goes rotationally. And that causes the brain inside the skull to actually elongate and stretch. And that stretching puts a, a lot of physical force on the individual nerve cells, especially the neurons and the axons. And that Well, I think we've come a long way with concussions and learning about them and I think equipment's never been safer and uh, I think that's why an, uh, uh, an off-season program is so important to be able to build your upper back and your neck muscles and your trap muscles and hopefully avoid it and uh, knock on wood we've been able to do that. Concussion wasn't something we ever really thought much about. Um, and certainly over the last five years or so, as both a player and a coach, it's something we really have to be aware of. Um, it was pretty typical that you banged your head and you said, hey, tap it out, let's go, let's get back on the field. And uh, you can't do that anymore. And so uh, as a coach, I was very aware that when someone hit their head or even if they um, just had a big collision, that one of the things you were concer are, are now very concerned about is uh, is concussion symptoms, you know, taking a look, making sure they're not nauseous, making sure their eyes are okay, calling a trainer in just to check them out before we put them back on the field. Um, and I do think medical doctors are, are very cautious that if there's even a slight chance that it is a concussion, um, they'll have kids sit it out and just kind of wait and say that everything's okay. I uh, wear custom mouth guards for soccer and baseball because they've been proven to help prevent um, getting a concussion and I think most athletes should wear a mouth guard because a lot of people are kind of uneducated about the effects of what a concussion can do to you later down the road and I would know because I was out of school for two months and three months and it's, it's a tough road back. So I've actually had two concussions. I got one in seventh grade and then one in eighth grade and they're about a year apart. And the first one I was at a tournament in Virginia Beach for soccer and it was raining out and I slipped and then a player from the other team ran by and kneed me in the head. And I ended up getting a concussion but I was only out of the game for like five minutes and then I went back in and played the rest of the game. And it turned out that I probably should have sat out because that would have been better for my for my head and everything. And it turned out I actually fractured my jaw too. So I think when you're talking about prevention and all the coaches knowing all the signs and symptoms that education is the biggest thing because I probably shouldn't have re-entered the game after getting hit like that. So I'm pretty sure I was in seventh grade when I got a concussion and I was climbing a rope and the person who was holding it like turned their head and moved so the rope pulled out and like I fell on my head and I got a concussion I remember like seeing all these like literally seeing stars like that's actually a thing and mine wasn't as severe as like some other cases of concussions are but I think it took me maybe like a week and a half two weeks to recover and it was not a fun time so that's my concussion story